tonight, new details coming to light in the case of a man found lying in a ditch in Amador County claiming he couldn't remember who he was. The John Doe has since been identified as Airman Keith Kiefer. Police are investigating the possibility that he's the victim of a serious crime in Sacramento. CBS 13's Anna Giles is live tonight with what Kiefer's wife is now saying about this bizarre story, Anna. Yeah, police here are still trying to verify Kiefer's story, and they're telling us that he's struggling to remember details. We did speak with his wife tonight from North Dakota. She tells us he's doing well, but still very out of it. He was able to tell his family that he loves them. I mean, as soon as I heard he was in the hospital, I said, I knew it. It's like I just had a gut feeling that something went wrong. Shanika Kiefer sits with her children in Minot, North Dakota. Just a few days ago, her husband suddenly stopped texting and calling. She says police pinged his phone and couldn't find him. Did you think he was dead at any point? Yes, I did. He was found just outside of Pioneer and taken to the hospital. Officers figured out he was a former airman at Traverse Air Force Base who had just been transferred to North Dakota. That's where his family is waiting right now. His wife finally got him on the phone after this ordeal. And he told me that he was okay. And he said he loved us and we miss him. And I said, you know, we can work through this. You know, what you're going through, we can get through this. And we need you home and you're very loved. She says he couldn't remember what happened to him. Police are investigating the possibility he was the victim of a serious crime in Sacramento. Shanika says he was there getting a U-Haul to transport their belongings. That was supposed to happen a week ago. Does anything strike you as odd? What, what are your thoughts right now about what may have happened? I think he was jumped. Sacramento police can't say for sure. Shanika is just grateful things turned out this way, that her husband is still alive. I love my husband, and we're very happy that he's, he's okay and he's coming back to us. And right now, Kiefer is being cared for by officials at Travis Air Force Base. His wife hopes he can come back to North Dakota as soon as he feels better. We'll see where it goes from here. Anna, thanks live for the update from Sacramento.